idea behind today was a perfect day in the life in which you guys would get to see the different routines that we have in our home and how we structure different things and how we keep things flowing and things like that. Unfortunately, <laughs> it hasn't been perfect um, in a while. We haven't had perfect routines in a while. We haven't been able to do things perfectly in a while. So, <laughs> I decided that today I'm just going to show you the what, what our day is like, just a regular day in the life, um, but then show you or bring about Bring attention to the different pillars slash routines that help our day to flow. Um, so, for example, I didn't do it, but I usually, like I didn't show you guys, but I usually begin my mornings with a mom morning. And my mom morning routine really just centers me and helps um, to set the tone for my day. So I have a video that goes over everything that I do in during my mom morning routine. And so I'll link that up above so that you can get like a full breakdown of what it looks like. So right now we are doing like our morning routine, but with the kids. And so they're getting breakfast ready. They're getting themselves dressed. They are, um, um, what else? Getting breakfast ready, getting themselves dressed and doing all the things that they have to do in the morning, whether it's brushing their teeth or starting, um, I have today's laundry day. So I have um, my oldest and my middle, they pretty much keep the laundry rotation going um, throughout the day. So that's what our day is looking like today. Um, so you guys are gonna see a not so perfect routines day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Mama. Let's go get dressed. All right, so one thing that's changed um, since I began the school year, we're now going into our third month of the, I guess, the new year of schooling. And um, we used to, like for the past two months, well, three months really, we've been um, doing our morning menus at the table with breakfast. So we've changed that. Um, and now we are doing morning menus together um, on the couch. And so breakfast is breakfast time, morning menus, um, morning basket time is going to all um, be done together. Um, so right now we're gonna sit down and do all of our morning basket stuff and I'll explain what we're doing as we go. So the, they're working on copying their memory verses inside of their composition books um, while- I, I'm writing my own. You're writing your verse, good job. I'm and <laughs> she's just gonna color. Ephesians 6, 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Honor your father and mother that is more. You can read it in the Bible. Okay, and what does John 14, 6 say? John 14, 6. And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Luke, Luke 19, 10. take a moment to just write down all that they've done already and um, 
and uh, get their math to them because that's what's going to be next. Okay, so they are currently working on these little edition pull-out books from Book Outlet. So they're working on those. We did Truth and Grace. One second, somebody. We did Truth and Grace. Um, they read from Proverbs. We did our copywork and then our morning menus. And they are currently listening to the candy maker. And I have a whiny baby. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me from over here. This is the books that they've been working on today while listening um, to their audiobook, and it is the um, the addition and subtraction books with the pullout tabs, and they they're wipe away. So they write in them and then um, wipe clean. They're wipe clean. Um, so these I got off of Book Outlet. I'll, one second, baby. These I got off of Book Outlet, and I will put it in the description of coupon for five dollars off your first twenty-five dollar order. All right, they're listening to World Watch News. I'm a little exhausted, <laughs> so I'm about to drink my liquid IV. Um, this is liquid IV ener energy. I talk about this all the time, but um, I'm obsessed with it. Um, Check out my description for a 25% off coupon. I was talking about this before the coupon. I got the coupon for you guys. Because <laughs> I know sometimes when people talk about stuff, you're like, Ugh, they're just talking about it because, because they're like affiliated with them or whatever. No, okay? Liquid IV is life, okay? <laughs> Anyways, the coupon's in the description if you're interested in trying it out. It's good. It's really good. It's so much better than coffee. Six. There's six? Yep. There's six flowers? Yep. All right, so you're going to trace one, the nu the number one, and then the word one, and then you're going to color the one ball. The you're one done? Ball. You did all your math? Well, 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 oh, wow. Well, Lovely. Well, well, what about in here? All right, so usually we go to the park, but today... There's just a but there's a lot of laundry. I was gonna say a butt ton. <laughs> there's a lot of laundry to do. So I'm in the garage about to put in another load. I'm gonna have the little ones play out here so that I can continue to transition loads while they play for like an hour. And yeah. <laughs> hey my mom. Cela, what you doing? Why? You're what? Good job, really. I circled more. You circled more? I think Samaya missed the biggest thing that's alive. What? In that I circled picture. the mammoth. She got mm -hmm. her face. I turned to all of it. Is it a mammoth? Yeah. No, that's a yak. Yakis. <laughs> all right, let me just say that with science, with this science curriculum, one second, please, Mama. With this science, we have done it like several times like we have started it several times and gotten maybe about halfway through but we haven't necessarily been very consistent about doing it like on a daily basis because 
Um, it is a science that you do on a daily basis. I know some people don't. I know some people separate it and stuff like that, but I want to. So we're starting all over again now that my four-year-old, he's able to really keep up with it. Um, and so we're starting from the beginning. So that's why, I don't know if you saw in my daughter's one, it was like written on already, like in the later chapters because we've already done it. So anyways, they love, they're loving it. And um, we, we've always, we always love God's, God's design. It's simple, it's easy, and it's really informative. And it's, they take science um, from a biblical perspective, which I love. Uh, so they just went outside and they did a scavenger hunt and they found, uh, here we go. They found um, living and non-living things and they made a, le a list of the living and non-living things. Um, my oldest son, he's doing his. His is a little more advanced. I'll show you a copy of that um, when he's done with his. And yeah, so we're done with science. Now time for history. The Selks lived in thatched wooden huts and wove wool in tartan patterns for clothes. Their um, craftsmen were very skilled at making wonderful objects in bronze and gold. And their bards made up great poems, which they recite from memory. Isn't that cool? Mommy, well, the, the... They what? Yes, yeah, some young Celts have hired themselves out of mercy soldiers, and they fight naked to show how courageous they are. Oh my gosh. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> and Romans. What happened? See, prisoners are... <clears throat> Prisoners of war are sold as slaves. Britain has good sources for slaves mm. for the Romans. Oh, wow. So if you're a prisoner of war, you can be sold as a slave? Yes. Yeah, back then, yeah. Give me my pencil. I'm pretty. I want to see some of the, their crafts. Their crafts. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. They're like very them. skilled with metal work. So these are these are like a different picture. I like picture. that. Yeah, my, it's pretty. Okay. It's a neck band called called a toric. So, all right. So we are using the Usborne uh, Encyclopedia, and we are using the Usborne Book of World History. So we have both of these and the activity guide for story of the world tells you like what pages to do that correspond with the day that you're doing so yesterday they listened to the story so today we're just going over the different internet links and we're going to do some review questions and then we're going to do the map work the map work okay so this area right here i believe i have is, to mark red yeah so you're gonna mark the area um where they originally lived and then we're going to follow the arrows across the north sea to retrace the voyage of the angles and saxons that they made to reach britain so we're gonna follow the arrows to retrace the, the voyage sean you doing yours mommy do i color blue in this space yes baby I did red at first, so I did it. Alright, so let's answer some questions. No. It's okay, you can just answer them. Okay, so he is talking about this. So I have him because he's older. So I have him do the the review questions once they're done listening. So he did this yesterday. So that's what he's talking about. Oh, that he already answered the questions. Because what? Are you always singing in the background? Yes, every video. Comment if you hear her singing a song. No, you
All right, so they are working on work unto others with Not Consumed Ministry. So my two older ones are going to be working on that um, for a few minutes while I put the two little ones to, down for a nap. All right, so while I put them down for a nap and my two older ones work on theirs, I'm going to be working on mine and then we're going to discuss and um, get their language arts done. All right, I remember that I need to hop on live with the community real quick to give them a walkthrough of the membership. So I went ahead and did that. And now, um, before I finish off school with my two older ones, I still have to do writing with both of my older ones. They went ahead and they finished, during the live, they finished um, their devotionals, they finished um they're reading eggs and teaching textbooks and different things and they're quiet time so they we still need to do writing and then we're done for the day but before we do writing we're going to straighten up and do a quick blitz because it's almost time for daddy to come home so we're going to get that done and then i'm going to get myself a little less greasy and then um we'll do writing and i'll start dinner So I finished school with my babes and the little ones. Little ones woke up from their nap, gave them a cereal for snack, or yeah, gave them cereal for snack, like their little snack appetizer thing. They wanted cereal, so they had cereal and popcorn. And then um, technology time, so they're watching. What are you guys watching? Puppy Dog Pals. They're watching Puppy Dog Pals. And I'm getting dinner ready. We're gonna do burgers and potatoes and broccoli because it's, it's fast so i just made the patties and i'm about to put some potatoes in the air fryer and yeah <laughs> Said that was the best way. Well, of course you can do as you like, replied Worley, but I think you're very silly. How did you ever know that you had a burden at all? I read in the King's book that everyone has a burden. I thought so. All right, so Daddy is doing um, kind of like a little book called um, The Pilgrim's Progress. It's not a little book. I don't know why I said that. It's a big book. <laughs> but um, he's doing uh, The Pilgrim's Progress with the kids, reading it through with the kids. Um, and they enjoy this little story time. So he tends to read it during dinner. And then... Um, and then I will be putting them to bed and it'll be time for hubby and I to hang out. So thank you for joining me on this full day in the life. There was so much to do um, and we're still not done, to be honest. So, <laughs> But um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's busy. It's nonstop for mama. But, you know, it's such a blessing to be able to be here and provide for my kids. And yeah. I'm just thankful. So, until next time, y'all. Bye. <laughs>